Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedgin Lee with a morning update for Bitcoin. So I believe wave four, the red wave four here as shown, is still being worked on. And uh, it may even be doing something maybe of a triangle or something like that. So in other words, let me just zoom in a little bit. and show you how that triangle pattern could be potentially panning out. Now for me, a lot of these short-term wiggles and squiggles have very little bearing on any trades that really I make because I don't trade it at this degree of trend, but I trade it at the weekly or, or even monthly or at the smallest degree of trend I trade would be at the daily. The reason why I myself go through the exercise of counting the subways or the microwaves even for a shorter term perspective is it qualifies the counting of the higher degree of trend. It's a bit of a QA mechanism that I use because if I call this whole thing a wave C, then I need to see that it has five subwaves. So this higher degree of trend C has to be qualified by its subwaves. I believe, and I have been consistent on this, that there is one more lower low coming, maybe in the 7,000 range to 7,050, 7,100, ideally any, anywhere below where three is. And if this is a triangle, I think the best way to label this is, so you have straight down, so you start from the bottom here, you have A, B, C, D, and E. And if that's the case, oops, if that's the case, then what we have shows that a, B, C, D, and E, if there's a D wave and then an E wave, but also there's a couple things to look at here. Based on chart pattern recognition only, having a symmetrical triangle represents a point of indecision. You can go up or you can be down. Not too helpful. So in other words, you should be waiting for the confirmation of the breakup or the breakdown to take any actions. However, when you combine it with early waves, it gives you a little bit more information so that you can resolve such an impasse. Here it shows that A, B, C, D, E, the E wave, is sitting on the top trend line of the triangle. It's been shown by early waves that when the E wave is sitting on the top trend line of the triangle, the propensity of the price is to decline. And the reverse of that is when the E wave, if the E wave was sitting on the bottom of the trend line, the propensity of the price is to rise. So I think from even just from here, if I move this to the right, I think, if wave four belongs right here, and the E is sitting on the top trend line, then we will likely be able to see a five wave down. Like this. Five waves down as the sub waves of the red five of C. Okay, I hope that's, this makes sense. And this is how probably I think it'll happen now. Can we get D wave breakdown? Yes, we can get D wave breakdown. Just as you can, in the bull trend, you can get D wave breakout. Same thing applies. Just because it's a triangle does not necessarily mean that it has to have A, B, C, D, E, five constructive waves. You can always have a D wave breakdown as well. 
and and still even if we did a break, D wave breakdown I would expect a five wave decline because sub waves of any actionary wave which is one three and five consist of five sub waves again that's why sub wave counting provides a qualification for the higher degree of trend All right and just to take a look at it again here is a bull flag that's being formed and we are looking at just this tiny part just earlier on the shorter term micro waves one more lower low towards probably 0.786 maybe a slightly lower piercing into the middle of this will bring us to 0.88 that'll be an 88 percent retracement of this one two three four five and none of us should be surprised by that because cryptos love to do very deep retracements if we go to a lower low and that is possible if we go to a lower low we'll reassess however as i rationalized and analyzed yesterday the cluster supports are weakening the selling power that is why this whole thing becomes a bull flag by the time it gets to the middle of this zone if it does which is 0.88 maybe even lower, maybe 0.934, square root of 0.88. I think the depletion of the sellers will be pretty near close to about 99% or so. Okay, now, there can be a renewed selling, obviously, which is why it can even take a lower low. However, Let's see if that actually happens, because I think that is more on the alternate scenario. Primary scenario is as shown. A bull flag will probably be taking place. And again, the longer term search scenario, we're seeing the whole correction in perspective. I think if this is a cup and handle, the handle is still in formation. And the right wall of the cup impulse to one two three four five and now the correction is taking place the great thing that i like about this is that the macd is remaining well within but declining under the contracting lines of the symmetrical triangle so maybe by june 12 ish or so we should get some serious resolution meanwhile from then it might just go sideways for a little while maybe it'll do another rounded bottom formation i don't know that is why corrective waves are so notoriously difficult to count. But I do attempt to see where the terminal end of the correction might be. I, I believe, if you recall, I had put out a ladder cast for this. My lowest rung was in the 5900 zone. And I think if we maintain this as the lower low, it could even become a symmetrical triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Maybe even one more lower low. Who knows? But from what it is right now, it appears to be a cup and handle. And there should be a resolution here, usually is to the, I would, my, the bias in the resolution, the breakout of the MACD, I think is to the upside. All right, I hope you found this to be helpful. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.